Our Kate Rooney is looking into the recent flood of private equity dollars into Latin America. Kate Rooney, you got those numbers? I do. Hey, John, good morning. Latin America is very much on the map right now for private equi equity. And after a record 2021, there has been a slowdown. But the, this year is still on track to be the second biggest in terms of deals for South America and Central America. According to the Latin American Venture Capital Association, price tags have come down substantially, but total deal number it's actually holding up relatively well. There's been a sharper drop in those late-stage pre-IPO deals, while earlier rounds are holding up much better. I talked to some of the biggest investors in South America as well. Ariel Ariata of NXTP tells me there's been an end to what he called blitzscaling. We've heard the same thing here in the U.S., a lot more discipline on the VC side, and still a pile of money they have to spend. You've got global names like SoftBank, Tiger, Sequoia that have raised dedicated LATAM funds, and they need to get that money out the door. The appeal here, guys, is growth. In Latin America, there is a chance to leapfrog or replace some of the existing tech and infrastructure faster than you might see in the U.S. Banking is one big example. There's a large tech-savvy but unbanked or underbanked population. And fintech is by far the biggest category for deals right now. That's followed by e-commerce. Crypto and Web3 also getting a lot of attention there. And Brazil is attracting by far the most deals, followed by Mexico, Colombia, Chile and Argentina. There's also a growing tech e ecosystem there. Hernan Kaza of Kazakh pointed to some of the entrepreneurs that really cut their teeth at companies like Mercado Libre, which he founded. New Bank also recently went public. And they're moving off to start their own ventures. He's seen a rise in what they call serial entrepreneurs. About 43 percent of dollars this year went to a repeat founder. There's also a lot more diversity. About one third of dollars went to female-led startups versus about 12 percent of global dollars. And then check out some of the publicly traded names as well. PagSeguro, Mercado Libre, Di Local, Nubank, backed by Berkshire, went public last year. Down with broader tech, but actually outperforming some of their North Amer American uh, fintech peers, at least. Back to you. Wow, what a great angle, especially uh, in all kinds of sectors, uh, media, but especially fintech, too. Uh, Kate, thanks for that.